Dude, perfectly synced, dude. What are we doing? Oh, man. It's not like we haven't been doing that for two and a half years. Yes, we seriously. haven't, dude. This is a brand new podcast. Oh, yeah. Good point. Right, right. Good point. Yeah. We just met. Welcome to the Probably Wrong Podcast. Whoa, bah, 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 bah. That um, feel right. This was the the big announcement we had. <laughs> is that they we're, we're doing the same thing. We're literally <laughs> just changing the name and filming in a studio now, and that'll be good. Um, subscribe to the Patreon, patreon.com slash probably wrong pod. Probably wrong pod. You will get access to nearly 150 extra episodes if you subscribe to the Patreon just a couple bucks a month, um, as well as continued uh, extra episodes as we can as we uh, record. So and make then sure also, you do that. yeah, we also have uh, if you sign up, there's going to be in the bio of this video. Look there. There's going to be a link. It's going to be an email list. If you sign up for that email list, what we'll do is we'll send you a free sticker. And then if we're in your city doing stand up, that's the only time we'll email you. And we're going to send you emails alerting you that we are in that city. So go down there. It's going to be right there, dude, right below. You'll get an email when we're inside you. Yeah, and I'll also send photos of my pee pee. Wouldn't that be crazy? You're like, oh, I got an email, and you're like, what? <laughs> what, are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing back there? I thought I felt some pressure. You so ever been on your phone during sex? Yeah. I know you have. I know you have. <laughs> dude. Matt's ADHD. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> you, you, yeah, Your ADHD dude. You know wouldn't. What? He can't sit through Oppenheimer. I don't think he can sit through a blowjob. Uh, to dude. be fair, Oppenheimer <laughs> was three. At, Oppenheimer was way longer than any blowjob I've ever gotten. Dude, Matt is Matt is one of the toughest. Like you know when you have that movie you love and you want to show it to somebody. I showed him what was it, Mulholland Drive. Every like ten minutes, I'm like, come on, man. I really I love I, this movie. So I really really <laughs> enjoyed that movie though is the, the thing there well there is nothing worse than like when you're like uh i mean it's a meme at this point but when you're like watching a movie and you're like oh it's somebody's like oh, i gotta go to the bathroom you're like oh i'll pause it they're like nah just that you're hurts. like oh that, that hurts. hurts that's so different much. it's just yeah i do have a hard time i've been doing looking. that with i'm dude, addicted to my phone that's i've been problem. doing that with um uh house of the dragon just get to the – I just want to see the dragons fight. I don't care about these weird family tie-ins that they're trying to do. I don't know any – I've been watching – I've watched every single episode of The House of the Dragon. I still have no idea what's happening. It's It's all it, – I don't understand like the, the Targaryen bloodline is now controlling the dragon. I'm like, dude – and then it, and it doesn't help that Ariel's my backup. So my backup is a lady. <laughs> who's just not who's just also not they're wa- so bad at they're following already shows. bad they're already bad at following dude we'll get five one. minutes into a movie my wife will be like who's that i'm like it just started it yeah. just we, start, none yeah. of us know well she's like well he's got silver hair is that the and then i'm like i don't know we'll find i don't know i have no idea who's doing what dude i've been I watching i want to see a dragon blow some shit up dude i've been watching mr robot Dude, great it's show so good incredible i just finished it's it so good such a good show but like the second and third seasons when they're like fighting the dark army which is like a yeah. which is like a kind of like a chinese illuminati i would say <laughs> yeah the dark army dude is giant. <laughs> <laughs> there is you would think they'd be like the no 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 Rero army continue <laughs> <laughs> they they like if you knew Elliot Alderson and like Darlene and the characters in that show in real life, you'd be like, "Hey, man, I gotta stop hanging out with you. You're really weird around Asian people because they're <laughs> yeah. just in that yeah. show. Because you understand the context. They'll be like in a subway and they'll look over and they'll see a Chinese guy and they'll be like, "We have to switch cars." And it's like that could just be a Chinese guy, man. You're yeah. in New York City, but like, but relax. In the, they 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 What's, build it up to this big yeah. thing where like those like the Dark Army is like slaughtering people in the streets to yeah. like protect oh like, they're after so, them but it's yeah. just funny because like if you if you were just like one of elliot's <laughs> friends from like school like he'll get into an elevator he'll look over and then dude an elevator is what six square feet if uh-huh. you look over at somebody in an elevator they're gonna look back at you and it's just a it's just a chinese guy and he and like the music gets all intense and it like <laughs> zooms in on his face and he's all sweating it's like Dude, you gotta relax. If you didn't know <laughs> what he was going through in this show, that's what if I you were just like, COVID. His <laughs> <laughs> Josh looks over, tense music plays over the elevator. He's just like, I was, sweat. Ah, dude, down. I had microaggressions. <laughs> I was having microaggressions. Yeah, that whole, like, the second and third season of that show is just. If you cut select scenes of that show, it's just white kids being scared around Chinese people. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> we should su- we have to supercut that. That would be so just just scenes of him being scared around Asians. It is a fucking good show though. Oh, it's it's <laughs> phenomenal. And and it's also funny cuz El- the main character is already such a weird guy. He's like an extremely autistic savant computer hacker for most of the show he's savagely addicted to morphine Mm. um and then he gets addicted to adderall he's just like a weird guy he talks to a person who's not really like there like he's and then on top of that he's racist against asians (laughs) i don't understand how he has any friends at all i don't i mean well he's so good at hacking (laughs) yeah that's 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 why they're his enemies dude yeah Yeah. no that's i mean that literally yeah that's literally why yeah so they're yeah. so that he's like the, the chosen one. Okay. He's white, but he's good at hacking. And yeah, they're like, holy yeah. shit. The prophecies are true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's, yeah. He's a day walker in the computer world. <laughs> <laughs> so he's OK. So I haven't seen it. So. The, oh, dude, it's the, chi- the But the the, the Chinese uh, men are just normal Chinese people. Or they are part of like an army. Every well, single time they you have a know. suspicion about a Chinese person, they're right. Okay. In this show, it's just funny because if you didn't know what was happening, yeah, yeah. you would like if you were just his coworker, right? And you were just like going out to drinks with your coworker after work, you'd be like, "Hey, man, the waiter's just a Chinese guy. You don't have to start sweating. <laughs> like you would notice. It'd be, it. like, Imagine well, it's like he's a part of the dark army. <laughs> like, dude, what? It, well, it's funny. It's I mean. It would be funny for me to just, like, watch an episode without having any of this context and just being like, is yeah. he just, like, afraid of Yeah, every- skip yeah. to, like, midway through the second season. You'll you'll see you, you'll see scenes where he's just, should, just afraid out. of Asian You should Asian watch cat. it. It's a good show. It is very Did good. Did you guys watch the show Baby Reindeer? No. No. We kind of missed the top time where this was super popular, but it's about a guy who's a comedian, is trying to be, and he plays himself in it, and it's, like, crazy. Like, he's getting stalked. And by this like pig and uh like a actual lo- like, like a animal f- like a fat no not a actual animal <laughs> <laughs> it's a netflix show of like a, <laughs> man, know, a man who just can't escape an actual pig he's like i thought it was gonna be a teacup and now it's huge and it's following a- me around the city <laughs> dude if is this cake can get green lit <laughs> yeah. oh, you've been stalked by pigs after shows i've did <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember oh, when we pig. did uh, – what was that show on the West Coast? What was that club called? Sunshine yeah. Comedy Club. There was, like, a fat lady who was, like, trying to convince oh. me to convince you to go home with her. Yeah. And I was like, you talk to him. What and did she say? She said something where she was, she was like um, – She was like – I'll oh, buy you she a was drink. like, "Oh, that was really fun." I did, like, yeah. She was like, "I'll I'll pay for your drinks," and I was like, "This is before I knew that club was cheap as shit, and they were charging me for my drinks." Yeah. Fuck that club. Yeah. But I was like, "No, I'm I'm the comic on the show. Like, I I drink for free." Uh-huh. And then she was like, "Oh well, I mean, if you guys need anything, like, just I'll get you what you need if you can convince Matt to go in my car." And I was like, <laughs> "I'm not, I'm not like." guiding his dick for him if he wants to fuck yeah. you he can fuck you also not in my goddamn car yeah that yeah that's right we, we were, were in, in your, your car. car yeah that you would that would be it, you were revving it open micers yeah dude <laughs> <laughs> we've already told that story but it was one of the most embarrassing moments of my life it, it was really was so funny i pe- do tell it again because i forget the details that's the old pod dude this is the new pod. yeah this is the new pod i know but it, it's still fun story. i so i i we drove back to the hotel i forgot my camera and my camera batteries at the club so i wanted to go back and get them because it was like a mile away so after the show they did an open mic so i pull back up in jeff's car and uh all the open micers are outside and when i when i pull up I go to like put the car it was in park but like my foot hit the gas so I just revved I just pulled up <laughs> right in front of them with my li- headlights on them and then went like really loud and then I had to get out of the car and, and walk past all of them it was like oh here's the headline he just headlined for 60 people he thinks he's hot shit revving his fucking uh, revving his fucking 2009 beamer at us 2015 or, okay, thank you very sorry, much sorry sorry I didn't no, but yeah, it AC's was just, busted. It was just extremely embarrassing. Paint chipping, like it yeah. was, you know, it's a hunk of shit. That uh, that car is a perfect embodiment of what happened after I started doing comedy. Like <laughs> just, my life went completely downhill. I can't hold on to money to save my life. Yeah, 
That car was pristine was, at one point, and I now I, I'm I've just h- broken. Stupid. I've had this theory that like the universe just doesn't let me have more than a thousand dollars. Yeah, like at which, any point yeah. in my life, it's always like nice. Something will happen. I'll get you know like I'll get a gig somewhere. Or I'll like have like a uh, whatever. I get I get a, a, I get a nice comfortable amount of money that I'm like nice. I can ride with. And then all of a sudden it's like no, the dog needs to go to the vet. Oh no, the the car the car needs new tires. It's just it never fails. I've never been like nice. I have a thousand dollars. It's when always I, like fucking. Dude, when I get a comma in my bank account, I start acting different. The start, dude. dude you start, start going, yeah. Different. I start Extra being like, steak at these the people Chipotle. don't even. These people don't even fucking know who dude, I am. Dude, it's National Oyster Day today. No, it was yesterday. It was yesterday. You missed it. I had oysters yesterday. It was fire. Damn. Thanks for the call. I, it was a last minute decision. I was out. I it was a game up, time Picked decision. up a friend from the airport. Went and got food. I live five minutes from the airport. Oh, well, we didn't eat by the airport. I'm airport sorry, I didn't think about you, dude. I was trying to have dinner with my friend. Thought we were friends. We are friends. You're a different friend. I'm down to eat oysters with you, though. Josh, you down to eat oysters? <laughs> I'll do it. I'll like <laughs> just <laughs> and then down one. Yeah, you. Could. I would gag. I really think I would. I don't think you would. I will say this: I always thought you were a really picky eater until obviously living with Jack. It's a completely different thing. Yeah, but I just think he also doesn't even live there anymore. Well, it's, <laughs> just, it's, just the, it's the texture of it that makes me not go. It's crazy. the one. It's the one food that like I'm trying to save money right now because mm-hmm. I've got a couple months left. Oh, here's something. Here's something that we couldn't do on the old pod that we can break out on the new. Oh my pod. god, can we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can be. It's a. Con- right. It's a condom. <laughs> <laughs> it can be out in the open. Look at that, dude. Baby dolls all on. Wow. The Look at that. Jeff's having a baby. Yeah. That's a huge announcement. Yeah, it's today. actually crazy. Yeah. That's amazing. Tune into the second episode. You we know had what's to, really we funny? We had to pay a logo maker on Fiverr for that announcement. <laughs> yeah. You know what's really funny is he uh, he left his wallet at our house, and I went into it to send him a picture of his card. And it, he said uh, – he was, like, joking around. And he was like, if you check that bag, boy, there's a Magnum condom in there. You know, feel free to use it. And I was like, oh, I don't use those. And he was like – well, there's actually not a Magnum condom, but there is a sonogram of our my child. And I was like, maybe I will start using it. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> <yeah, yeah. laughs> That's actually a better form of birth control. <laughs> I would yeah, literally, yeah. yeah, I would literally rather get herpes than have a child. By, just by tell your lot. friends, you, you know, yeah, dude, if you need a condom, go in there. And it's just ultrasounds. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, ultrasounds with bank statements. You're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> is sonogram the right word? Ultrasound. But it's an ultrasound. But isn't that a sonogram? I don't know. I was spacing uh, out in the g- gynecologist. Sonogram versus ultrasound. Oh, man. An ultrasound is a Get medical brand testing dude. that uses sound. And uh, the the images produced. So that is uh, the images produced by an ultrasound is called a sonogram. Gotcha. So an ultrasound produces the sonogram. Well, it sounds like you guys were probably wrong. But we were right. <laughs> 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 we were right. Though. I just yeah, wanted Matt to plug it somehow. Right. I don't know. Dude. I, I Can you cut it. his mic? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thank that's, you guys that's for tuning in. That's the theme of the pod. If you say something that's probably wrong, <laughs> you get timed out. Cut your mic for five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get, yeah, you get, yeah, you go and put in time <laughs> out. You get put in time out. You have to think about the the bomb. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I thought I'd feel something while while I was in there, and I didn't feel anything. Well, your so wife thought the same thing. <laughs> you feel something when you were in there. Come on, dude. Your mic's supposed to be off oh, right now. I'm fucking crushing right that now, one. dude. That one was good. That I'm one crushing was good. right now, boys. I <laughs> have noticed, and you've yourself, you're aware of this as well. Mm. You've been a better person since you found out you were having a kid. Yeah, definitely. And I like that. It's the karma. You got to put good karma in the air. Yeah. I think I'm just producing estrogen. <laughs> 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 you're just becoming a lady. I think I'm just becoming a lady. I think I'm just like at my house, like you know, tell your friends you love them enough, and then you go, you need to make a conscious effort to say I love you when you hang up the phone, and you have, I have, and I like it. It's very funny to, it is very funny. You're like one of those like uh, creatures that's like asexual, they're like asexual, <laughs> and they like switch genders after that. Do you know what I mean? Like there's like fish that are like asexual that will like get themselves pregnant. Like I think it's seahorses, right? They like become seahorses. Seahorses well, are like seahorses, seahorses are don't a- aren't asexual. 
the males hold the babies in for the female. Like she like gives birth halfway. Clownfish, through. dude. That's what you are. Clownfish <laughs> begin life as males and then change into females. Yeah, sounds like a clown move to me. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Clown ass fish. <laughs> yeah. That'll be a blast. Well, okay. Well, now I feel Wait, like we might get one, be getting one second. transphobic. Clan. Uh, so clownfish are trans. One second, but then clownfish, they're from Finding Nemo. Mm-hmm. Yes. So the whole plot doesn't even fucking make sense then. Because Marty would be a girl. Marlin. No, his name is Marty. His name's Marlin. His name's Marlin, I think. His name's Marlin. Marlin the Clownfish. You're about to get timed out, dude. It's Marty, dude. You're about to get timed out. It's Marty a thousand percent. Marlin, dumbass. Time him out, dude. dude. No, dude. Absolutely. Mike is muted. No. (laughs) (laughs) You were probably wrong. I actually fucking knew that's dumb. very funny. This is you great. were for like a minute, but that's I actually funny. We should do it. We should actually do this. It's like a hockey penalty box. That could yeah, be the thing. Really I, l- I like is, it. I actually like this. I like theme. it. Yeah, I, I like can it mute too. you whenever you need me to. I think I think <laughs> five <laughs> minutes is too long, but I think a sixty second mute. A if thirty you're wrong. second penalty is funny. Yeah, thirty yeah, seconds. I like that. Yeah. You get put in the uh, you get put in the penalty box. Yeah, I, guess I think that it's funny to invite guests and then be like, "You're muted." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they they say something like really minuscule too. They'll be like, "Yeah, last Thursday I was. Oh, actually, it was Friday." Be like, "Mute him, mute, mute, mute him mute now." <laughs> probably wrong. You don't get to be probably wrong. Uh, yeah, we should we should start a uh, we should start a um, little f- have a stopwatch ready to go for that the thirty second timeout. But uh, yeah, but anyways, yeah, the p- whole plot of that wouldn't make sense then, because if me- if clownfish. Are men into female? The whole thing is that his he's like a good dad because his wife died. That was before Disney went. Wait, was Marlon gay? Marlon was trans. Marlon might have been trans. That's why you thought it was uh, Marty. Well, Marty's still a guy's name, I guess. Was Marlon gay from Fighting Nemo? (laughs) (laughs) No, Marlon from Fighting Nemo is a clownfish and is married to Coral. However, some say the more biologically accurate version of the movie would have Marlon transition into a female and mate with his son, Nemo. Whoa, Whoa, dude. You're telling me that clownfish are trans and pedophiles and (laughs) incestual? No. What are they, a YouTuber or something? (laughs) (laughs) What what do they work for, Mr. Beast? What is this? (laughs) Little known fact, Mr. B's only hires clownfish. Pull up, <laughs> pull up Marlon's Twitch stream real quick. Yeah, See yeah, if he's yeah. making an apology. Uh, that's so funny. Uh, that's that's crazy. It's crazy that some marine biologists watched that movie and went, well, you know, son, this would actually be more anatomically and biologically accurate if Marlon then turned into a female and fucked his kid to reproduce. <laughs> Told some kid that. Yeah, just to or like, felt they needed to publish that. Yeah, it's that's hilarious. what's funny is to like write a journal article and be like, you know, actually, what? I watched the movie Finding Nemo and <laughs> it's not biologically correct because there was no incest for procreation. <laughs> Grow up, dude. Yeah. You, you know, it's you know, nothing good follows the word technically. Yeah. Like I've always gotten like if somebody says technically, you're like, get, shut the like, shut up. Oh I don't care what. Well, I mean, technically, if you're being technical, it's like, well, right. you hate that because it usually you say it's usually followed by this. No, dude, <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually right. Technically, or do you think I'm probably wrong? We gotta stop with it, dude. It's just new. It's like it's like getting a new toy. I'm like, I'm gonna play with it. Yeah. Do you think that's what it's like to when they transition when when women transition to men, they just can't stop playing with the dick for a while? You know what I thought of the other day? I think they get dicks. What are you talking about? Women get dicks. Yeah, they they. Well, they here's here's yeah. an idea. That can we I pull had. up post optics? No, please, God. <laughs> yeah, we can. We can do that for sure. <laughs> I thought of a business idea the other day for bottom surgery Kay. for trans people because it can go either way. You can get a dick or you can get a pussy. Yeah. But then there's like a there's a big movement of like detransitioners, like people who go trans and realize that wasn't their issue. Right. Ninety day free trial. But how? Okay, all right. You can't just say words without a plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or like here's an idea. What if we vacation to the moon? Yeah. I'm or, a now. Yeah. or everything's a subscription service now. Subscribe to that dick. It's like X amount of money a month, and if you decide you don't want it anymore, you just cancel your subscription. We come give you. We just put it back to pussy. I don't feel like it can. It's that easy. It's not a reversible glove. <laughs> yeah, it's not a jacket you bought at JC Penny. It's not. We it, can figure it out. There's not a return. Imagine policy. how sore you would be. If you had to, <laughs> dude, back to back bottom surgeries. Back to back. Well, because how they make a pussy is they flip your dick inside out into you. 
flip it back out. And then you just they go, all right, you Dude, don't want you don't want that anymore, and all you have to do is go. <laughs> <laughs> you get an Audi belly button and a penis at the same time. You flex so hard and it fucking pushes both out. It is it is like when you push in the fingers on a glove and just <laughs> Yeah. It's like those toys back in the day that you would squeeze and the eyes would pop out. <laughs> yeah. so they just squeeze you really hard and your dick just pops yeah, back that's out. That's and how to and how to like make it go in. They just suck your asshole. You just need, <laughs> you just need to get a hernia yeah, and it'll pop right back out. Like, a like, shot uh, vacuum in your ass. How do ass? I get this thing back out? Like do squat 450 below parallel. Yeah. Yeah, it'll <laughs> pop right back out. This is crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Dude, AI shit on me. Did you guys see my Instagram story? Yeah. Very funny. AI rocked me. I was like, who? I first asked, who is Jeff Dozal? And then I was like, this is funny. Who is Jeff Dozal? Is he gay? I tried to find things for both of you because I thought it would be funny to bring up on the pod. It wouldn't tell me any personal things about you. I was like, who is Matt Ross? And it gave you like a similar description to me. Weird that it has the new name for the pod already. That but is weird. It's also weird, weird that it didn't just pull up the actor Matt Ross. That happens. It did. I corrected the comedian. Great. And then it was it was right. And then I was like, is Matt Ross gay? And it was like, Matt Ross is very private about his personal information. I was like, damn, you threw me under the bus yeah. quick. It was like, That's, no, but you it's are gay. so <laughs> funny. <laughs> you says it's your gay. Yeah, because yours, it was like, Jeff is very public and outspoken about it. And, and it's like, which is like so funny because if you listen to anything I say, I wouldn't consider myself like a private person on these. No. I also uh, asked if you were racist. It said you weren't. I'm not. Shout so out. So that's great. I'm Shout glad out, AI dude. knows that I'm not racist. AI, yeah. knows that, <laughs> AI knows that you're not racist. That's sick. Can, can we can we AI test things then? What did you Google, use? Google if I'm – no. Yeah. <laughs> I d it didn't know who you were. Did, good. <laughs> yeah, no, wait, was, no, bad. Wait, yeah. is that good or bad? I don't know. What did you use? Google Gemini? No, I used Meta AI, but oh. it should all be the same. Meta AI. What should we? What, who is yeah. who is Josh Francis comedy? Who I want to see what happens. I'm gonna get hurt if if this fake thing doesn't know what I'm that I'm real. Oh, you have to fucking log uh, in. Give me give me a minute. Also, that's gonna suck. Um, yeah, that um, that that does kind of hurt. It, it does, huh? especially because it has like the wealth of knowledge of like the entire universe. Yeah, and it, it and knows it's that like, he's we gay. Didn't figure out. It knows, if yeah. he knows he's gay, it shouldn't at least know who I am. Yeah, that's a great it, point. It pulled us up immediately. I had a different <laughs> Quit hurting my feelings, dude. No, it was would like you rather be unknown or would you rather? Result. It was like the fastest search result out of anything I asked it. It pulled us up immediately, and then it took a while for you. And would you like, rather be unknown is. by Meta AI or have Meta AI be like, this dude's gay as fuck? <laughs> well, to be fair, if it if it broke down analytically all of your content, I could see why it would say you were gay. Yeah, no, it checks out. It's just funny that it was like Jeff Dolezal is an openly gay man, and he has garnered his audience by funny. leaning into it and expressing his stories about well, being a homosexual. You're not, it's not wrong. It's not totally wrong. No, it's not far off. It just doesn't understand. I showed the my sonogram. Irony. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've come in a pussy, dude. Yeah, you have come in a pussy. At allegedly. least once. At least once. Alle yeah, allegedly. We'll see if that baby comes out part of the we'll dark army. We'll see what color that baby comes out. <laughs> 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 that baby would come out part of the dark uh, army, bro. The, the baby comes out Asian, and then the music, the tense Mr. Robot music starts playing. Go, 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 starts go, go, sweating. Go, go, go. <laughs> That'd I have be to hack the hospital's records yeah, to get my yeah. name off yeah. the birth certificate. Oh, man. Dude, this was crazy. Okay, writer based in New York City, gained popularity. He Damn, he wrote for the Late Show with Stephen Colbert. This is yeah, cool, well, dude. That was a while ago, though. It was that was back when I was yeah. Josh is a comedian and writer based in New York City. He gained his popularity for his humorous takes on everyday life, relationships, and social issues. You are kind of a social issue guy. You really do talk about the things that matter. Yeah. Francis has appeared on various comedy shows and podcasts, including the Late Night with Show with Stephen Colbert. That's so funny. And you made it weird with Pete Holmes. It's funny. None of this is right. I liked You've it. It's never performed. Neither was, the, <laughs> neither was the gay thing. You neither was the gay thing. never performed at the cellar or Caroline's. Caroline's isn't even open. Yeah, but, you know, you can, you can, uh, you can definitely catch my set on the Late Night Show with Stephen Colbert. Show yeah. me a picture. You of were him. the syringe in Here the we go. vaccine. <laughs> Here we dance. go. I want to see what it thinks you are, who you who it thinks you are. Oh damn, dude! It thinks you're a hot guy. Damn. That looks like no guy. Actually, <laughs> no. It's well, you can see it's a little uncanny because it's like. Well, the top right one looks like you. Yeah, the very top right. The, yeah, <laughs> the chill, one, dude. The chill. One of you no, with no, that no, young no. boy in your matching clothes—that's pretty accurate. 
Yeah. yeah. What's crazy is you don't have a kid. You picked up that young boy. Yeah, you don't have a kid. Well, it's so. I'm part of the I'm part of the 90 day trial. <laughs> the, the kid's 90 day trial. Dude, it's crazy how it, it does look a lot like me though. That's weird. Yeah, I don't yeah, like that's how crazy. Weird. The chiseled jaw and the uh, yeah. you look like you'd be in a fucking Marvel movie. Yeah. yeah. Well, can yeah. you pull up Matt and I? I want to see what we look like. Yeah. Dude, what if I just look like Jabba the Hut? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be pissed. Remember that picture you posted where you did your like face change with yourself over mm-hmm. and over again? Oh god, that might have been the most uh, disgusting picture. I hope it <laughs> that might have been the grossest thing I've ever seen. It Thank just you. made you look not human. Oh shit, that's me, dude. It's so funny that it gave you so much hair in every one of these. <laughs> like I played ev- Robin Williams, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> every one of these, you have a great head of hair. Okay, now do me. I got. I'm so curious. Uh, Matt Ross comedian. I hope mine's the only one that's accurate. I'm gonna be black. I hope you're black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh <laughs> no! What the fuck, man? Can I please? <laughs> <laughs> you're bargaining with it. You're. <laughs> that's so funny. I would assume if AI has what the information, if you look Matt Ross comic, that's pissing me the. Fuck fuck off dude fuck you yeah yeah tell it i apologize for my previous frauds came out frustrating if you're looking for matt ross i just whatever dude yeah i forgive you sorry having access to ai is it's having access to brandon is sick yeah this (laughs) This is is cool we we have a real thing going on here boys. brandon is our ai yeah yeah white eye son hey he's that uh Never mind. All right, I'm gonna. You can go ahead and mute me for thirty seconds. <laughs> time <laughs> you can time me well, out. Yeah. Time him out, dude. No, dude, no. Oh, you're muted, <laughs> Jeff. Man, you look good, dude. Thanks, you man. Look I happy, appreciate bro. it. I am happy. I'm gonna be a father. You are gonna be a father. That's gonna be crazy. Are you gonna let me hold your baby? Yeah. Damn, for real? Yeah, you can hold my baby. Okay, cool. Why would Why would I say no to that? I don't know. I don't think you're gonna do anything weird. No, I would never. It does make me nervous. One time I dropped our class pet rat in third grade, and the teacher got really mad at me. So maybe no. Well, I'm not going to drop your baby unless it does something weird. What What do you mean, what if it does something weird? I don't know. What would it possibly do? Go for your nipple? That'd be no. cute. You gotta, if my baby goes for your nipple, you better let him suck it. If you're letting me hold your baby with my shirt Ayo, off, we, pause, we gotta get we gotta get to the like what is the what is the vibe of the hang that we're having? You know what I mean? Well, how good of a hang can a baby be? Yeah, that's true. You sucking on my nipple, you gotta. He's earn gonna it. be chill as hell, bro. I'm gonna be rolling. Do you think your baby's gonna be cool? Yeah, definitely. I think your baby will be cool. It'll be weird. You you're like probably like I have friends who have kids, but like. You're probably going to be the friend I have closest access to who, like, has a child. Let's like, say I'll be watching your child grow up. Yeah. That's going to be weird. But it's, it's gonna cool. cool. It's going to be super cool. Uh, we can teach him how to fucking – we can teach him how to shoot hoops. Yeah, that'd be sick. Buy him a little fucking hoop for the house. I want him – I want – Give it pre-workout. <laughs> I want him to, like, <laughs> fast forward to, like, five years old. Yeah, you want to – I want to skip the baby stuff and then just get right to, like – this is fucking Star Wars, bro. Yeah. And then just blow his mind. Don't make him a nerd. No, I'm gonna make you him go, a nerd. this is Olympic wrestling. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. just like, I'm gonna once he can comprehend shit. We got to train your kid. Yeah, we got to. We really do. We got to train him. Tell Paul. Yeah, tell. We got to make him great. Tell Colleen we got to get him into golf. She's better start taking pre-workout right now with the baby in her system. I don't think you're supposed to have that much caffeine. No, but I don't right. think the baby comes have out with any abs. caffeine. Babies will come She'll out with She'll drink like Diet Coke occasionally, but that's about it. She's Can baby take pre workout. <laughs> <laughs> no, baby should not take pre workout. It's so funny, dude. This is this is just the fucking liberal media trying to keep. <laughs> yeah, it that dude. is what it is, dude. Yeah, Weak dude. China's babies wanting us They to just not don't want baby. Jack. They don't want fucking babies to be strong. They don't, yeah, want, they don't want jacked, jacked babies. babies. Yeah, because guess what happens if we grow up t- giving yeah. our kids bucked up, dude? They're gonna be able to do like seven thousand. Dude, who's yeah. who made this AI? China. They've been yeah. trying to have a leg up on us on babies. Yeah, the liberals years. don't want jacked babies to be able to get up on roofs and stop shooters yeah, that's all that's that what it China's is. like no 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 don't do that meanwhile we throw all of our girls away yeah so our do next generation 
I don't think so. I mean, no, but then now they have that, that they have that gender gap that we've talked about before. How it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like there's like five, it's like something like ten million dudes who can't get pussy just off of numbers. There's millions of Chinese fathers. Yeah, that's why Chinese every guys day. Can't <laughs> 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 there's millions of China, Chinese dude. fathers every day in China just being like, why you no get girlfriend? Oh right, throw them out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh right, I threw them away. <laughs> oh my bad. Why you yeah. no have girlfriend? Right, day in river. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do like that if you leave the AI and go to the most unreliable of Qora, it just says no. It doesn't. You can you can give it. Can pre workout kill a newborn? And then somebody just answers the wrong question. Yeah, they don't even. They go the no. Right working one. out doesn't harm your baby. Try to get your baby to take a couple steps. Throw I, in <laughs> I have seen on Instagram like the fitness ladies who like just won't stop even though they're like super pregnant and they're like at the gym setting up a camera and I'm like, what are you doing, dude? Go home and complain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go do what you need this to do. This is what you were bred to do. Go home and complain. Yeah, you get nine months of bitching. I feel like your baby would come out more, like, dense if you worked out super hard while it was in there. Because, like, then you're, like, No, then you're robbing the it of its nutrients if you're burning all those cows. You think? You need to stock up. Work out afterwards. You need to uh, hibernate. You Definitely get, work yeah. out afterwards. Work out you afterwards. You got to get back into shape. Get back. Yeah. Yeah, right now, she's fucker. starting to show. It's like, I don't want to fuck you. But Jesus <laughs> right. I'm leave kidding. it in. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, are you, you gonna are in. you gonna are you gonna smash when she's like very pregnant? Or is that weird for you? I don't know, dude. I've thought about it and it's like you know what? I I feel like I probably have to just because it's like yeah. that I pussy's mean, on a timer, bro. Dude, yeah, <laughs> There's a bomb ready to explode. You also have unlimited <laughs> nut. You have like unlimited nut in nut inside availability. Yeah. Like you can nut inside of her as many times as you want. That's how I get that baby jacked. I just pump feed up it protein, right? dude. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, feed it protein and test. You can, cum. yeah, you can take a bunch of. Well, you can get take pre workout and you can do a bunch of like whey you protein. Take work pre workout creatine and protein, and then you dump them in, dude. Dump it in. Dump it in, dude. Yeah. That's pure. I've had sex with enough milfs to know it doesn't really damage the pussy that much. It will if I take all this pre workout. My yeah. baby's gonna come out swole as shit. That's true. I think about there was this. So I did the strip show at Sunset this weekend where they do strippers, comedy, strippers, comedy, basically the perfect comedy show and uh, <laughs> great yeah. environment. Yeah, great environment. No, it was fun. But there was a girl in there. She's not a stripper, but she does do like pole dancing classes all the time. It was her first time performing hot, skinny, like gorgeous, covered in tattoos. Twenty six years old has Shaped like head. Four kids? No, I know who that is though. She looks at my stories from time to time, yeah. and I've clicked on it, and I'm. She, it's like followed by Matt Ross. I'm like, oh, that's exactly your lady. Yeah, I've. I, yeah. She came up to me and told me that she's Tell a fan. I said hi. Yeah, she's a fan. I forgot and, to. Uh, and she's uh, a fan. She's a fan. She's a fan. She's a fan. She's a fan. Uh, and uh, yeah, she was like, I have had, I had four kids in six years, and then she was just like on stage dancing. <laughs> Everybody Which is almost like a prerequisite, isn't it? You know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The amount, dude, I was in that green room playing college football. Like, I'm sitting, like, like fucking two feet from the TV playing. There's just women getting dressed behind me. Just, like, hot strippers and pole dancers I already me. love you, but that makes me love you so much more. I was just like, I'm in the zone, dude. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you're I don't, in, I don't have a PS5 in college football at my house. Yeah, dude, it's third Pussy's and eighteen. I have dude. to convert. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. I'm not worried about. I'm not worried about that. Plus, oh. all of them will only talk about I'm all reading, their kids. Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> all they do is talk about their kids, and I'm like, yeah, that doesn't really get me rock hard. There is like a weird. <laughs> there's like a weird thing of like knowing your wife is pregnant because it's like, when you get married, your wife's pussy is like, it's like the best car at the dealership. <laughs> You're like, I could see myself inside that car uh -huh. forever. Yeah. I'll, I'll never want to be inside another car. And then that car is going to fucking explode. And you're going to be like, I need another car. And then the mail truck hits your car. And you're like, we got to get this thing <laughs> fixed. We have to get this thing fixed. But I'm not going to pay for it. Yeah. Yeah. No, that thing's going to be fucked up forever. Well, eventually another car is going to come out of that car. Oh no! And the then you don't want to drive that car. Yeah, no, you can't. No. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely don't want to drive that car, Josh. Good. Yes. Yeah. What do you think you are? A clownfish? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dude. I'm fucking on nice stop. Where's back, the? Dude. Yeah. Where's the goddamn? That camera, was a good dude? callback. I'm, I'm two for two with the callbacks today. 
That was nice. Yeah. There you go. Sometimes Buddy. the callbacks don't land, but sometimes they land. It's because you're unwilling to do them with 100% confidence. Yeah. You do them with 85% confidence and 15% like. <laughs> <laughs> the energy, they're like, they're like, you guys see what I did there? <laughs> Please don't time me out again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all you're trying to prevent is getting timed out of your own podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude. I well, do. I feel like the punishment should get steeper as the episode goes on. Yeah. First one's thirty. Next one's a minute. Damn, that is a good next idea. Next one's push-ups. Actually. I started doing push-ups. Prison style. I don't know what per- prison style means. They just kind of do like ten or you just ten have or a black fifteen. Guy here yelling at you while you do them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Prison style is just. You just one more pussy. Yeah. Pussy. That's yeah. All yeah it is. Um, do you do like ten or fifteen sporadically throughout I the day? I just do them randomly throughout the day. How yeah, many are you yeah, up yeah. to? I don't know. I just started yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> How about I could do a hundred? You think you could do a hundred straight push-ups? hundred percent. Do it right now. I don't want to. We're gonna time you up. See, for the rest that's of the bullshit, episode. dude. Yeah. That's I can probably do it. wrong. That's, that's probably, probably wrong, wrong dude. dude. Brandon, do you think I could do a hundred push-ups? No. It's like, in, is it in one go? It dep- yeah, one go. One like go. No time a- limit. Wait. So, like, can your knees touch the ground? No. 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 Absolutely not. You don't think I could do a hundred push-ups? Absolutely. No. I work not. out every day, boys. I don't I'll think give you, you could do a hundred straight push-ups, dude. I'll give I you don't 50. think you can, like at all. How many push-ups do you think you can do, Jeff? And I can control the width. Twenty-five. The grip. I width. think twenty-five is yeah, probably the max width. that I could do. And I, then you I do would twenty-five. Yeah. You just gotta go full depth. Full depth each time. I bet I could do it. Now you asked. There's no time limit. Are you gonna hold yeah, at the shake top it out. when you get? That doesn't seem like it counts, does it? If he's I in mean, the push-up position. If but he said he's gonna shake his arm. If his knees don't touch the floor and his palms. Don't leave the floor. I feel like it's fair. Yeah, I both agree. palms or both one palms, palm at a time. Both palms. Both palms on the floor. Knees don't touch. Well, that's a different game, then, boys. See, this is what always happens when we get into fucking debates: is something it, the the gauntlet is thrown down, and then it gets edited a hundred times by both sides as we move on. I'm do you remember the Do you I'm remember the LeBron Jordan who's more athletic debate? And then it just ended up with like me and you being silent, and Jack and Matt like. Full screaming. Now I remember in Dallas we slammed on the brakes in the no, car. That was here. Jeff wasn't here. That was me, you, Jack, and my brother. We were arguing, and I think we've brought it up on the pod. We were arguing whether or not somebody who has trained jujitsu for was it a year? A year could beat up. Ten. Could beat up a boxer who's been boxing for ten years, one out of ten times. They wouldn't give me one out of ten, and it infuriated me. To the point where yeah. we were screaming. I did slam on the brakes while we were driving. On the middle. Downtown. Of downtown. Uh, yep. Yeah. Like, do we were ever, about to do the off-ramp onto the 35. Do you ever explode at the, at the video games in Sunset? No. Uh, no. But I will be like, oh, you're fucking kidding me. And people will be like, what's going on? I'm like, nothing, <laughs> dude. Shut up. I just, I just went for it on 4th and 2, and they stopped me. Because that's, that's a neutral environment. It's not your house. It's not, like, anybody I, you know's house. There could be people in there you don't know that well. Because I've seen you lose at things. I can very easily be neutralized by the fear of what other people think of me. On the golf course, yeah. uh, in the green room. Now, if I'm playing with a bunch of people that I know on the golf course, I'll throw a club. If I'm if I'm at home, like literally our coffee table, I've like slammed my fists on the coffee table <laughs> yeah, more than like, once. That's like, like fucking... <laughs> <laughs> playing playing Madden or playing I've dude I've done it playing like I play the 2K like Tiger Woods golf game by myself mm-hmm. and I've like m- I've like played bad and like slammed my fist on I've dude I've alone in in our house screamed at the top of my lungs to the point you know when you scream so loud your yes. like voice rattles like that dude I I full on cried playing RuneScape like two years ago <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like since I knew you yeah like I was yeah you guys have known me since <laughs> there, I, I got frustrated. There's a thing uh, where you have to, it's called an inferno cape, and basically you have to like grind, like you have to kill things for like an hour and 45 minutes to kill the final boss. To even get to the final boss, like an hour and 45 minutes. And then you have to learn how to do the final boss. And so you have to like just keep rinse and repeating, going like an hour 45 to an hour 45 to get to the final boss. And like that's if you don't fuck up. So you can like mess up a lot and then reset in like, you know, incrementally. And. And so, yeah, I got to the final boss, and I internet disconnected on, like, the time where I was like, I've done it four times. I now can for, for sure kill the final boss. So and then, four times. So you're looking at close to eight hours. And that's not even play. counting. And that's when I got good at it. It's like a 40. <laughs> dude, 
it was like a 40 hour probably time investment and then right when i'm like nice i'll clear it this time this is my thing the internet went out and i literally just like I full spaz turned into a guy <laughs> threw my headset i went fuck it was like 2 a.m i started crying that's so ariel was like it, it was oh, it was very man. it was very fun to turn to my uh girlfriend who again is seeing her 27 year old boyfriend at the time being so frustrated at the video games and i'm like you don't get it the internet went out for no fucking reason it's like dude, yeah. it could have went out at any other time but like this one second time anyways That's yeah rough. i got it though that is rough where's the camera That's really rough where's the camera i don't think yeah, I've i completed cried, the info but okay. i got into i got in a really good shape because of halo between sophomore year and junior year of high school like physically? i made like a halo workout regiment you're like would, in the gym, go like working. Like no, I'd be I'd be home, and I would I would play five games, however negative I went. Like if I if I played poorly and I went like negative five, that's how many push-ups I'd have to do, and I would huh. just I would play five games straight. I would do I would go like negative positive, however negative I went, that's how many I would have to do, and then I would walk my neighborhood, which was a full mile, every five games, and then I'd come back and I'd play more. And then I would do push-ups if I played bad, and then I'd walk the around. The funniest reason to get hot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Halo. I was like, I can do both. I can just punish myself for playing bad. But that's good. That releases the energy. I used to get mad playing uh, Warzone a lot, like yeah. during COVID. It was the only thing that there was to do, and I would, like, like I was either like I would have games where I was like really good, and I was like fuck yeah, and then games where I was like awful. And I had this desk that I bought from Target, so it's all particle board. And I would slant in it <laughs> one time. I hit it, and it like it's just connected like this, and it came unconnected. And f my monitor, everything <laughs> fell <laughs> unplugged. My controller, all my boys who I'm playing with are like, "What the fuck was that?" And I'm like, "Give me a fucking second, okay." <laughs> You know, I had to like reset up my thing. I had to duct tape my desk back together. It was so embarrassing. Scary, Alex. I remember being in baseball when I was in like sixth grade and having to like trying to convince my parents to not let me go to practice. I would be yeah. like, "No, my tummy hurts," and I would just do. I'd that. cry if I struck out. So I'd have in to the dugout. I, I used to ang I used to angry cry during sports so much yeah. that my parents took me to a therapist. <laughs> a sports I would, therapist. I would bang my bat one. against the cage in the dugout if I struck <laughs> out. Like, God damn it! I, did, I used to, I used to like pray that it would rain so I could stay in and play World of Warcraft. I cried before baseball practice a couple times. I never really loved baseball, so like I never yeah, wanted to I go play. Dude, one of the most humiliating experiences in my life was my dad was a catcher. Like he played baseball like his whole life and whatever, and he was a catcher. So I was like, maybe I could catch. And I would always play. I was always a second baseman. And then finally, when I was in like seventh grade, I was like, you know what? I want to try it. And I told my coach I wanted to try. So then I had to. They put me in on the uh, the third inning when we were up by four points. And dude, we were up by four runs. And I fucked up so bad, and I, like, gave up. Like, people were just stealing on me, and I was overthrowing it. People, Dude, I, I, they pulled me from catching, and I was crying. I was Damn. full sobbing. 13 years old, and I was like, fire! <laughs> Kept overthrowing. Dude, I overthrew. I was nervous. I was overthrowing the pitcher. Like, the exchange, like, the just— 30 feet. 30 feet. Yeah. You were overthinking it, dude. I you was gotta be reactionary, it. People dog. started. People started it's running like that, on me. It's like that thing where it's like if you are just walking by a trash can with a piece of paper, you can just toss it. You'll make it nine out of ten times. If yeah. somebody goes, I want you to make this, and you do this fucking thing. I used to lose to my mom and horse all the time <laughs> because I would just get, like, so spazzed in my head. I'd be like, there's no way I can let my fucking mom beat me in horse. She'd, and I'd, like, miss layups and Jeez, shit. Your mom Girl. would start doing, like, the off the backboard twice behind <laughs> her legs. <laughs> <laughs> you got an alley-oop, correct? Yeah. Alley-oop? Alley-oop it. Is that what you think it is? Alley-oop? <laughs> Spell it. Spell what you think it is. Is that if you play -L -L -E basketball on a skateboard? Okay, well, this is even worse because you just spelt it properly. Because I figured out that I said it wrong. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, all right, good. It's, uh, yeah, alley -oop. Am I muting him? Wait, one no, second. No, no, no. Okay. Was, was I – was okay. I – Fuck off. Enough. Shut up. We got to change, change it again? We got to change the name again? How would, again how would you guys describe this. what that sentence was? Definitely incorrect. A mispronunciation. Yeah. For sure incorrect. I hated, I hated baseball because I wasn't good at it, but also – I was always on the same team as my brother. Who, who was really good at who it. Who was insanely good. He yeah. played for the Royals. Yeah. And it was yeah. just like every – it was like I was like the caveat of getting him on you. Because he was the best kid in the county. He was like, you got to let my brother play. And I was like <laughs> – I, I was like You're the his little, one? <laughs> uh, yeah. I was like the little retard that had to come with him. You're and like they the were like, you get the best kid in the county. 
and his retarded brother. You're the <laughs> ugly friend of the f- of the girl who gets invited on the boat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah you're the fat girl on the boat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fat girl on the boat, dude. She's got a cowboy hat and starts to dance. Yeah. Everybody's like, all right, we're going to stop dancing Everybody's now, like, why is she in a one piece? Yeah. You know? <laughs> She's keeping her Very shirt. similar. They were like, why is his shirt on in the pool? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's so funny, dude. I'll like, sw- It's so funny. I've been on dating apps long enough where when there's a picture of a group of girls, I'll literally sometimes out loud be like, I know which one it is. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Always you're not, not sneaking. Always the one you think it is. They're trying to be covert about it. They're like the two hottest ladies you've ever seen. And then also a person who's got like a weird angle and half her face is cut off. They're like, (sighs) it's just a bad photo.